So what we're doing now is we're putting multiplying and dividing together. And then on the bottom of the page, or the second half of the page, we're putting multiply, divide, and power to a power together. So we're putting all three together. So um, can definitely get more complicated. The biggest thing is we want to simplify as much as possible. So we want to try to simplify down as much as we can. So, and I'm going to tell you guys, there's not one way to get the answer. So if you're like, oh, I did it slightly different from you, but I got the same answer, that's okay on these problems. Like, it's kind of whatever you notice first is all right. So if you notice something that, you, if you see something that can cancel right away and you cancel it, that's fine. So in this case, though, on a problem like this, any thoughts on how to get started on it to make it look a little more simple? Justine, what did you do first? Because I you know you saw it, you started working. Uh, I, um, so I started by multiplying the. I learned that on the word. You want the fancy word? I can't remember what it's called, but you know, the number in front of the very Oh, the coefficient. Okay. Yeah, I, very good. I thought you were trying to go with numerator, so I was, oh. I was gonna. Okay. So she wanted to multiply the coefficients first. So she took. I think you took care of the top first, right? Simplified the top a little bit. So she's basically multiplying the top. So she multiplied 4 times 5, which is 20. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put those m's together right away on top? Yeah. Do you do that? So m to the third and m to the first is m to the fourth. So at this point, you guys, so one of the things to point out is we should be multiplying. So you have to think of all our multiplication rules. So from yesterday. And then n to what power? Fifth. Fifth. Very good. So the top now is simplified. The bottom, I'm just going to rewrite because that nothing's happened to that yet. And again, as you see things, if things make sense to you and you're able to kind of skip steps, I'm okay with that as long as you end up in the same place as us. I rarely say that in algebra. I try to make you guys show your work the way I do, but if you're able to skip a little bit, it's okay. Just be make sure that you're doing it correctly. All right, 20 over 10. What's 20 over 10? 2. Where's the 2 going to be? On the top. 20 over 10 is 2 over 1 or just 2. All right, how about the M's? Where are there more? Top, and there's 2 more, right. So M to the second on top. And what happens with those M's? They get crossed off, those cancel. So those will go away. So you could leave it this way. Like the over one, you don't need the one. So if you just write two on to the second, that's fine as well. So just so you guys know those are the same thing. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So let's talk about number six. Like I said, we might not do all these examples just out of overkill. Um, but let me know if you want more. So in this case, this looks like a big mess, because it looks like two fractions being multiplied together. However, what I suggest you do is treat it kind of like we did here, kind of making this a big multiplication problem. So don't let the two fractions scare you. This is just a big multiplication problem. I can just kind of extend that, that fraction. So I'm going to do, just like Justine did over here, I'm going to do 6 times 4. Now the x to the third, y to the fifth, nothing happens yet. Now some of you guys might be like, why isn't she simplifying those right away? And that's fine. If you see that and want to simplify, that's fine. I'm going to rewrite this. If you, yeah, you want to switch the order, that's fine. If that bugs you that I didn't write it in alphabetical order or the same order that's on top, whatever makes the most sense to you guys is fine. All right, just like the last time, 24 over 12, what does that become? 24 over 12? 2 over 1 or just 2? Okay, where are there more x's? Top, how many more? 2. And the y's? Where are there more? Top, how many more? 1, right? So you don't need the first power. You just have this is fine. You want to put it over one, you can. 
Are we okay with those, or do you want one of those other examples down there? Do either seven or eight like make you want to do those? We're okay with those. Okay. If you want to secretly tell me later on that you want one of those examples, let me know. Or not so secret, or stop by an AR. Okay, so let's go to the bottom of the page. Because now, these throw in that power to a power rule. So if you notice, they also have the parentheses with the exponent and the exponent. So there's a lot going on here. Again, we'll kind of pick and choose some ones to do here. Um, Which one? You think 10 looks bad? So we, let's talk about 10. All right, I'm going to grab 10 too. Because that one's 10 or 12. 10 or 12. Let's do 10 and 12. Get crazy. Let's gonna pick two of them anyway. So, um, so in number 10, there's a couple of different things you can do here. This power has to be distributed to the parentheses. However, inside the parentheses, if I want to, I can simplify first. Do you guys want to simplify first or distribute first? It doesn't matter to me. It's what do you, easier if you simplify first. It's easier if you simplify first. There's less places to distribute. It's going to make it a lot easier if you simplify first. Now, if you don't notice that and you just start distributing, it'll work just fine. It's just there's probably more places to make mistakes. But since just Justine pointed it out as well, I'm going to simplify first. Okay. So I'm going to look at this. And this u to the second over u to the third. Where are there more? Bottom. How many more? One. So a u to the first is going to end up on the bottom. So what I just did was I had two char or two bases, and now I set it down to one, which is a lot easier. Okay. Also on the bottom down here, I have those v's. I have v squared and v to the second. What are we doing with those? What does that become? Do we add, subtract? What are we doing with those? Yeah. We're adding them. They're both in the bottom, so we're just combining them. So we're adding their exponents. So how many v's are there going to be? Six. Six. And then there's this that two down there. It kind of drives me crazy. It's at the end. So if you're okay with it, I'm going to stick it in the front just because I have issues. <laughs> All right, what's left on the top? On the top of the fraction, sorry. So, yeah, so that's what I wanted to point out. So since there's nothing on the top of the fraction, I'm just going to put a 1 there as a placeholder. And when I asked that question, he was talking about the exponents. So that's okay. So simplifying it first does make it a little bit easier, like Justina pointed out before. If you didn't do that, this should work out to be okay as long as you're careful. But now I have to distribute this power in. And I'm going to distribute it to all the bases. So I'm distributing it like four places. We did one like this yesterday, but it's definitely tough. So it's going to become one to the second. We'll talk about what that is in a second. The bottom, I have two to the second. What does the u become? 2u to the second. And then the v? 12. 12. So if you take these step by step, they're really not bad. If you look at it initially and like, oh my gosh, it looks awful, it does look bad. But once you start breaking it down, they're not terrible. <clears throat> now at this point, what's 1 to the second? 1. 1 times 1 is just 1. Very good. 2 to the second? 4. So then it's all simplified. Alright, by request I'm going to do number 12 as well. But again, if you want more practice, I can always, I'd be glad to go through those with you. Um, it kind of gives us those options. Um, sometimes I start adding problems and I feel like I have to fill up the whole page. You don't need all of them if you're good, but if not, um, always feel free to let me know. So, in number 12, now this is a case where if I try to simplify what's inside this parentheses, nothing can simplify. So I have to follow the order of operations. I can't start simplifying like out here within here because the one is a parentheses. So I have to get rid of the parentheses by distributing. 
So this is going to distribute to this parenthesis because that's what it's attached to. Now, if you guys recall yesterday, we talked about negative numbers getting that power. I always use parentheses because my calculator will do it wrong, wrong if I don't. So this becomes an m to the second and an n to the sixth power to a power you multiply. Now remember, the one up there I showed you guys, this just becomes like a big division bar. Don't let the multiplication scare you. Alright, negative 4 to the second power, what does that become? Negative 4 to the second, positive 16, very good. And then I'm multiplying it by a negative 2, I'm going to kind of just put that here. And some of you guys might already say, well that's negative 32 and kind of deal with that. Alright, I have these M's here. Where are there more M's? Bottom. How many more? One. And then the ends are on the bottom. So I'm going to put those together. How many are there going to be? Six and one. Seven. So 16 times that negative 2 gives me that negative 32 over our fraction there. All right, questions? All right, so homework is listed there for you guys. If you would like to get up and take a walk outside, you can do that. Um, do you wanna, are you, what are you thinking? Do you wanna, is everyone going? Is everyone going? Yeah. Oh, You're all going? Okay. Oh, I want